There's so much information and so many ideas floating around these days around property management training, particularly around the basics. Some people may define the basics as like, how do you smile? How do you make eye contact? Well, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that you already know how to be a human being. You already know how to smile. You already make know how to make eye contact. We're going to talk about the basics in terms of how do I get in front of that right prospect? And once I'm in front of them, what's my process? What do I do to take them through the journey to make that decision to lease not only an apartment, but to lease my apartment from me? Those are the basics that I'm talking about right now. It's so important to get these basics right. So in this video, I'm going to show you the 11 property management basics that you must master if you want to close leases. Number one, what you've been told before in terms of how do you close a lease? It's wrong. I promise you that this is the case. Let's face it. There's a lot of bad information. There's a lot of outdated information and there's a lot of downright misinformation out there. The stuff that worked in the past to close leases, well, it's the wrong stuff today. It just doesn't work. Today's renter has more access to information than ever before, and they've got more choices. So that old school way of trying to sell them on the apartment, in many cases, not only is it wrong, but it actually turns your prospects off and turns them away. Number two, okay, selling is so important for property management professionals. We've got to sell our prospects on living at our community. I want you to be the opposite of what you think a salesperson is, right? That kind of high pressure, hey, if you don't rent the apartment right now, it's going away and we've got a special, it ends in three minutes. <laughs> How you think of a salesperson, that kind of traditional character from the movies, yeah, be the opposite of that. In today's world, what makes an effective property manager is somebody who can read people, somebody that's able to follow a process who can engage their prospects in a conversation using a systematic approach. Number three, talk is cheap. A lot of people think that having that kind of gift of gab, being able to shoot the breeze and have all kinds of small talk with our prospects is so key to building a relationship and leasing them an apartment. Well, it's not. The reality is your prospects don't want to hear you talk. They don't care about you. They don't care about the list of amenities that you have. They don't really care about the specials that are going on and all the things that you think might be enticing to them. What they care about is solving the challenges that they're dealing with right now. And they're going through the process of moving, which is a very stressful life event. They're looking to connect with somebody that's going to listen a lot more than speak and somebody that's truly going to understand what their current situation is and how they can improve it, how they can get that ideal scene. They really don't care about all the things that you have to say until you understand them. Listen, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And going back to what you've been taught is wrong, we've been trained in this industry to automatically, as soon as we get a tiny bit of information, start talking, start pitching, start selling. Well, talk is cheap. You need to ask the right questions and you've got to dig in and truly understand not only your prospect situation, but what they're going through and the ideal living situation they're trying to get to. Number four, have a system. As a relatively new property manager and even as kind of an OG that's been in the industry for 25 years, the best thing that you can do for yourself is to have a proven system, a process that you trust, a system that you follow. You follow that process so you know exactly where each and every one of your deals is and what stage of the process that they're in. A lot of times people try to wing it, 
Remember, this is a stressful life event. It's also the most expensive decision that your prospects are gonna make. Just winging it is not going to get you there. You need to have a system. And just to add to that, you wanna make sure that you have a system that's been proven to work in today's world. As we said before, the entire apartment industry has changed and it's changed in the last couple years. So make sure that you have a system that's relevant for today, relevant for right now. Number five, do your homework. Show your prospects through personalization that you truly have taken the time to learn about them, that you understand their current situation. You know what's most important to them and why that's important to them. You know what they wanna see first when they either arrive at the property or they do a virtual tour with you, whether that's on FaceTime or any other platform. Make sure you've done your homework. Now, that's not, I'm not asking you to sit down for 30 minutes and try and like be a private detective and learn about somebody you've never met before. You can easily do your homework right from that first phone call, even from a chat interaction, from a web form. If you know what questions to ask in the right order to ask them, you can do your homework so that every one of your tours, every one of your engagements with a prospect is personalized just for them, that's gonna set you apart from the competition. Number six, ask questions. And of course, not all questions are created equal. Make sure that you have a system so you're knowing what those power questions are to ask. If you don't believe me that this is an issue, I want you to pretend you're a renter and call some apartment communities in your market. Call any apartment community for that matter and you're gonna find that the questions that they ask, well, they're a bare minimum and they're not the right questions to really learn about you. You wanna make sure that you have a process that is designed around very specific questions that are gonna help you deeply, deeply understand your prospect and that's what's gonna help you close the lease later on in the sales process. The data shows that top performing real estate professionals, top performing property managers, well, they're asking a lot more questions. They're digging in there. They're gaining those insights to learn about their prospects. If you're doing most of the talking, you're not a top performer. Number seven, don't be afraid to lose the lease. I find that so many property managers and leasing agents are terrified with the idea of losing a prospect, losing that lead, not getting the lease signed. But the fact of the matter is it happens. It's not a big deal. I lose deals sometimes. If you have a process that you can trust, if you have a process that knows is gonna figure out whether or not this prospect is the right fit, well, you can go through your life without having fear, without being afraid. Fear cripples us as property managers. Fear cripples us as leasing professionals. Our prospects are already in a deep state of fear. If we're afraid that, hey, I'm not gonna get this sale, it's only gonna make matters worse. Number eight, be a peer, not a servant. When you behave like a peer to your prospects, they feel that and it's disarming and it makes them more comfortable. It makes them feel like, wow, I can really trust this person. They're not just telling me something because they're trying to tell me what I wanna hear. They're telling me something because it's the truth. Make sure that you're treating your prospects as an equal. You're a professional and they're your client and you're working with them as a peer versus you're just a servant that's there to get them exactly what they need and tell them that the answers that they wanna hear. Number nine, stop persuading. Your prospects don't need to be persuaded into renting an apartment from you. What they need is they need that trusted advisor that's gonna really look at their situation, look at all the alternatives, and help them decide on the best possible outcome for them. Think about this. They're gonna to have to go to bed in that apartment every single night. They're gonna to have to wake up there every morning. They're gonna build their life there. It's literally going to be the center, the focal point of their entire life. They don't wanna be sold or persuaded or be given some tricks or gimmicks to rent the apartment. They wanna make a good 
sound decision based on facts, based on data, based on your understanding of their situation. So make sure that you have a closing system that's not high pressure, it's not manipulative, it's not pushy. Okay, if you're not going to use our closing system, go find one that is not based on persuasion. Your prospects don't want to be persuaded, tricked, pushed, or manipulated into renting the apartment. They want to make that decision on their terms because it's the right decision to make. Number 10, always be learning. Learning is a lifelong journey and our industry is constantly changing. You can always get better, you can always improve. If you have that attitude that, hey, you know what, I learned a little bit when I first got involved in the industry back in 1992 and I know everything. Nobody knows everything. Make sure that you're spending time each and every day to just learn a little bit right? If you can just get 1% better every day, your career is going to go through the roof. Find like-minded people that are excited within your company to learn new things, to try new strategies, to improve their process. Be around those people, stay positive, and always be learning. Trust me, you're gonna make so much more money, you're gonna have so much more fun if you're constantly open to new ideas, new strategies, and new techniques. Number 11, never get comfortable ever <laughs> because when you get comfortable that's when you get into trouble i see this all the time right property managers leasing agents maybe it's you're in a really hot market right now maybe you're in charge of a lease up that is the place that everybody wants to live at and those leases are coming a little bit easy right you start to get comfortable you start to get a little bit lax you maybe don't run to grab the phone because you're not worried about your property getting to 98, 99, or even 100% occupancy. As soon as you get comfortable, things are gonna start to decline. And this is so important for you to realize because if you find the right sales training system, right? You find a system that's easy to learn, easy to implement. You find the way to close these prospects that's not pushy, not manipulative. Well, guess what? your job is gonna to start to get easy. And it's this weird thing that happens. As your job starts to get really, really easy, you actually start to get comfortable and you start to do less of the things that made your job so easy to begin with. Find that process. And when that process starts to give you results, don't get comfortable, keep it up. It's like people that get on a diet and they start to lose a little bit of weight, right? Or they start to build a little muscle and then they're like, this is great. I don't have to work out so much. Stick to your process, trust me. Never ever get comfortable, ever. So those are your 11 basic skills, the 11 basic things that I want you to master if you wanna be successful in property management. If you have any questions at all, you can find us over at Leasing University. And if you want that system that I've been talking about that's gonna help you with all 11, well, check this out. The way people rent apartments has changed. Today's renter has access to more information. Today's renter has more choices. The apartment industry needs you. Studies have shown that moving is the most stressful life event. The old sales training, well, it just doesn't work today. I'd like to teach you how to take the stress out of leasing apartments in a way that's meaningful to you and your renters and get you seven times more leases. I'll show you how the perfect leasing process works. I'm gonna walk you through everything from answering the phone to closing the lease. I'm gonna show you how to determine your prospects' wants and their needs so that you can build value in your apartments. You will learn how to handle any objection or complaint. I'm gonna show you how to connect with your renter so it's easy for them to rent with you. I've taught the best property management companies and thousands of people just like you how to lease apartments. Property management is complicated. I'll simplify it for you. There's more competition than ever before. I'm gonna show you how to be number one. All of a sudden, your career, it's gonna make perfect sense. Even if you've never worked in sales or property management before. And for the advanced property manager, I'm gonna show you how to take things to the next level. Leasing University is a new, simple, step-by-step -step process that's effective. 
we're gonna help you become a rock star in property management. I'm Matt Easton, and this is Leasing University.